My name is Jeremy Valentine. I am alongside Jaden Ants, who is in the ring right now. He'll be joining me uh, ringside to be able to watch this battle between two guys more known for mixed martial arts than boxing, but want to set themselves and cement themselves in the boxing community here in Canada. specimen, an intimidating guy as he makes his way down to the ring. The D-bomb, as he is known, is 1-0 in his professional boxing career. And uh, a guy at 42 years old who's still in incredible shape, says it's the best shape of his life. No need for Vaseline for him. He's just gonna come step right into the ring and get ready to go here. And again, you see Justin Schmidt not taking his eyes off of Dwayne Lewis as he makes his way into the corner. Let's get the particulars of both the fighters. Here's Jaden Ants. This fight is for three minute rounds in the professional 201 plus division. And now, the official fighter introductions. In the blue corner, he's 0-2 as a professional, 32 years old, and stands 5 feet, 10 inches tall. He weighs in at 207 pounds, fighting out of Strathmore, Alberta. Please welcome Justin Schmidt. In the red corner, with a 1-0 professional record, he's 42 years old and stands six, six feet, one inches tall. He weighed in at 225 and one half pounds, fighting. So Andy Social, the man in charge here between Justin Schmidt and Dwayne Lewis. And again, the respect between these two fighters is, uh, again, at the weigh-ins throughout the process has been incredible. Justin Schmidt wearing the white and black trunks, the black and red with gold trim for Dwayne Lewis as these two fighters known more for MMA than boxing step into the boxing ring. Dwayne Lewis 1-0, Justin Schmidt 0-2. These are two athletes who are very, very experienced in combat sports, and you can see that by the pace that they're starting. Feeling each other out, making sure they understand their range, try to get an idea of what their opponent's strategy is going to be out the gates, not coming in with those haymakers right at the beginning, which is a sign of, uh, of a little bit of an amateur athlete, in my opinion. And uh, again, Justin Schmidt hitting the ground. It wasn't as a result of a punch, just more of a movement by Dwayne Lewis. So that the touch of gloves needed to uh, clean them off. And Dwayne Lewis coming in with a big left hand that starts it off. You can just see the power behind Dwayne Lewis. And in this division, uh, you know, 201 plus pounds, you've got a guy who's 207 pounds fighting a guy who's 225 pounds. So Justin did make a nice comment to me that uh, he's glad he's hitting him and not having him lay on him. Yeah, that does make a big difference. But the, the, you see the, the game plan here for Justin Schmidt is to pick up the pace, find a way to reach in, and every time that Dwayne Lewis throws a punch, Justin Schmidt is coming forward. And there's the first one. There's been a couple that have landed in the gut, but that was the first one I thought, that right hand that uh, pr affected Dwayne Lewis. I agree with you completely, Jeremy. Justin, in his last bout, he looked slow out the gates, and he just looks like a completely new man today. Got to make sure to keep those hands up. Ooh, good Dwayne. solid right hook from Dwayne Lewis. 
Dwayne Lewis has a lot of power. The dirty boxing in here. And there is some good return from Dwayne Lewis. And again, it doesn't take much for Dwayne Lewis. He can end a fight with one punch. And it doesn't have to be a power punch. It could be a jab. I've seen him end fights with jabs. I've seen him with jabs, hooks, uppercuts. I mean, you name it. This man is known for finishing people on his feet. Don't cut out Justin Schmidt, who again, using that increased movement, but Dwayne Lewis now starting to time Justin Schmidt's charges in, landing two or three shots and then moving, using his movement, an excellent job. Every time that Justin Schmidt comes in, he circles and counters. Talk about the guys behind him coming from Southpaw Boxing. I mean, Dwayne Lewis has, has got some of the top boxing coaches in, in Calgary, arguably Alberta and Canada, that are coaching him and, and having him change some of his techniques that he would have had from mixed martial arts. And you can see that patience, and that comes from that muscle memory of training. Again, Justin Schmidt using the speed, trying to find a way to damage. And it's going to have to be punches and bunches, landing multiple punches to every one of Dwayne Lewis's punches, just because Dwayne Lewis ha has that big power base underneath him. And you can see the power that Dwayne Lewis throws with these punches. Justin, with that unorthodox head movement that he's got, is, is causing Dwayne a little bit of problem. I mean, he's trying to swing with these big punches, but he's yet to have an absolutely solid connected punch with Justin Smith coming in. One, you see there, uh, a nice touch of gloves there, and an energetic Justin Schmidt, something that I have, we have yet to see in boxing. And uh, him being energetic uh, and continuing to be able to be that way through the entirety of the fight could wear down a boxer like Dwayne Lewis and just kind of chipping away little punches as they go. And uh, again, those aren't soft punches coming from Justin Schmidt. Dwayne Lewis is just such a big monster that he seems to envelop them without ever feeling phased. It's like punching a brick wall as it's coming in. You're only going to do so much damage. The only way to really cause a, a, an effect on something like that is to chip away at it, which is exactly what Justin Schmidt's going to be looking to do in the second round. Can't break a giant stone in half. You got to use the chisel first. So that's perhaps the first round of chisel. Uh, more damage perhaps done by Dwayne Lewis. The busier fighter, definitely Justin Schmidt which is a great thing to see. Justin Schmidt, full of energy, full of life. This is what I was looking for. Justin, great footwork here. He's, he's uh, really trying to keep busy and uh, read what Dwayne Lewis is looking to do. And Dwayne, being the counter puncher that he is, is, uh, is definitely waiting for that pristine opportunity to try to take Justin's head right off of his shoulder. That pawing jab that's coming from Dwayne Lewis is trying to time the head movement of Justin Schmidt. And again, if you can time Justin coming in with a jab, that can do a lot of damage. And that's a there big, is a big shot, shot right Lewis. there. Justin felt that one. As energetic as he is, he's in a bit of trouble here. I think Dwayne, oh, and we have a downed fighter. Andy Social making sure Dwayne Lewis is in the neutral corner. Remember, everybody, you've got a standing eight count. That eight count's going to come up. He's going to make sure that he's ready to go. Okay. And Justin Schmidt back up at the eight count, and he's going to bring him back together. Dwayne Lewis with a vicious combination that landed, and now he's going to land a shot, and that is right to the liver of Justin Schmidt. He immediately grabbed his side, and now he's trying to find a way to stand up. There's another one. No shortage of toughness by Justin Schmidt. He, in fact, told the audience that he was okay uh, when looking in. Justin Schmidt is the epitome of a tough guy. He's a, an ex-hockey enforcer that was sent out to fight the meanest, baddest guys on the ice. Now he's a guy who stands in front of the most dangerous combat sport athletes in our province, and uh, I've just never seen him back down from a fight. No, and he is trying to find a way, and that's, that's a third it. punch down. And again, it's going to be a count. There's another body shot that just dropped Justin Schmidt, and a good call by Andy Social ending this match. And the first one to go over is Dwayne Lewis to make sure he's okay. 
always, we, I have to comment on the quality of the officiating that we have in the Calgary Combative Sports Commission. I mean, that was to save the fighter. Justin will never stop. I mean, until he's unconscious, he will go, go, go. And Andy Social, smart to make that call to make sure that he's protecting the fighter's health and best interests. Absolutely, and a big, uh, again, the, the one thing that we can comment on Dwayne Lewis, he won that by body shots. He landed two massive body shots to Justin Schmidt. Justin Schmidt wanted to go over and check on Dwayne Lewis. He says, man, you're a tough guy. Uh, they, they're two hugging in the center of the cage. And again, it was the body shots that did the damage. A right hand that landed to the ribs. And right there was the first body shot. Then as they continued, these big wild shots by Dwayne Lewis. He landed a body shot that put him down. And uh, that was the uh, beginning of the end there for Justin Schmidt. You are watching live on Fight TV. And we have the official decision. Here's Jaden Ants with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the official decision. Referee Andy Social sought them out at 1 minute and 55 seconds of the second round. The winner by TKO in the red corner, Dwayne Lewis! So Dwayne Lewis is your winner. He is going to be in the center of the ring with Jay, who is going to uh, chat with him.